What's good, YouTube? Back again with another video. And in today's video, you have the LeBron James Swingman jersey for you guys. Definitely a dope jersey. I ordered this jersey in July, I believe, from Fanatics. And it finally came today. It is what it is. But this is the Black Mama jersey paying homage to Kobe Bryant and his design, I believe, in the 2017-18 season. I actually have the Kobe Bryant Swingman version of this as well. And I'm going to do a comparison video between these two jerseys. But first, I want to just give you guys a review on this jersey. Not much has changed in general, but there are little differences in the sense of tagging and retail tags and stuff like that. So just to give you guys another video to maybe look at if you're trying to find this jersey on a third party market or whatever. All right. So with that being said, let's dive into it. All right, so of course, we're going to start with the Nike neck tag information, size 56, NBA logo, Nike swoosh, all screen printed, made in Thailand. And then you see that little Nike circle with a bunch of Nike swooshes swirled around. That's supposed to mean that this is recycled material. It's a certain percentage of recycled material in the jersey. And they put that logo in every one of their products that have a certain amount of recycled material. All right. As we get into the Nike swoosh. All right. So you have your heat press stuff. Let me uh, focus this back. So you have your heat press stuff across the Lakers. They actually did a pretty decent job this time. As far as packaging, so shout out to whoever packaged this jersey. But then you have the details on the jersey. Sublimated into the jersey is that snake reptilian detail. But as you can see, the details amongst the jersey, definitely a fire jersey. The 23 came out pretty clean. Definitely dope. And let's take a look at the jock tag, all right? So as we take a look at the jock tag, you have your NBA Authentics. Size 56, Swingman tab. The trim is in that yellow and purple. So as we take a look at the back, you have your NBA logo and your James across. And on this NBA logo, it's straight flat. It doesn't have that 3D dimensional type feel that you would get on the Authentics. And as you could just take a look at the design, I really feel that that's what this jersey is all about, is the design on the jersey. Then you have your 23 across. Again, they did a pretty good job putting the 23 on this jersey in particular. I've had some issues in the past with the Swingmans, how they were packaged, etc. And they didn't do the best job as they could have. And then one slight difference that you will see on the newer Swingmans is the dry fit on the back side of the jersey. This is new, this is different, I don't know why, but that is what they're doing to the Swingmans nowadays, all right? So that is that. Let's take a look at the inside tag so you guys know the production date. So you have your Made in Thailand right here. Shout out to that Dust Bunny. And then you have your production date, SU21. 2XL, etc. etc. So you know it's legit, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, I'm gonna be doing a comparison video with this jersey and the Kobe Bryant jersey. You guys stay tuned to that one and we out. Peace.